The new Layup Builder Dockable Pane in FEMAP 2401 offers an alternative to manually creating layups by offering the ability to define an overall ply stackup or layup stack. Once defined, any subset of rows in the layup stack can then be applied to any portion of the model to automatically generate the required layups. One method to define a layup stack is by using data provided by another application. To open Layup Builder, use the tools Layup Builder command. As seen in another video, layup stacks can be defined manually or loaded from an existing layup, but this video focuses on the Attach Composites HDF5 file method. The first step is to select a FibreSim HDF5 file. If units detected in the file do not match the current solid geometry scale factor, the user is prompted to scale the HDF5 data. Notice a preview of the ply locations is shown in the graphics window for review. In the populated table control, two columns, component and layer, contain user-defined data from the HDF5 file and can only be edited by choosing an option on a context-sensitive menu. The material, thickness, and columns in the orientation section are all set to from composites HDF5. No entities are currently specified for entity selection. The information from the attached FibreSim HDF5 file can be reviewed by displaying the component, an outline of the component, or the ply fiber direction overlaying the model, which helps verify the information is in the correct location spatially. It is now time to select entities, which can be done on a row-by-row -row basis using a context-sensitive menu, but is better accomplished in this workflow by using the Select Mesh from Composites HDF5 info command. Simply select which elements to consider, then entity selection will be done automatically. To review which elements were selected for each row in the graphics window, turn on the Show Preview Mesh Info option and select various rows. Once satisfied that everything is applied correctly, the final step in the workflow is to use the Build Layups command. Once the layup building process is completed, FEMAP will provide feedback on the number of properties and layups that have been created and ask if it is okay to update the model. At this point, the data in the layup builder can either be saved or discarded. Finally, individual properties can be reviewed if needed, perhaps using the model info tree.